Hi, in this video, let's try to understand uh, how we can set up PhantomJS on Windows, Mac OS, and also the API that consists uh, the PhantomJS. So to start with, uh, for Windows, I'm right now on my Mac machine, so I cannot exactly walk you through the process, but I can tell you the steps. You can follow that, and if you have any trouble in uh, setting up the PhantomJS on Windows, you can let me know. So for that, you have to go to phantomjs.org, click on download. So the latest version is 2.1 that I'm using. And the next thing that you have to do is that uh, head over to the operating system that uh, that is currently on your machine. If it is Windows, click on this and it, it should download. And once you have clicked uh, downloaded this, unzip this uh, and you will get a executable called phantomjs.exe. And once you have got that, you have to set the path variable. So make sure that you add uh, you add uh, till phantomjs.exe to your path variable in Windows. And once you have installed, make sure that if you have already opened a uh, a command uh, prompt window, close that and start a new uh, and fresh command prompt window session. And once you are on that uh, command prompt uh, session just type phantom js uh, and press enter it should give you the version number or maybe on the windows it might be like phantom js space hyphen v so now let's try to understand how you can do uh, it on uh, mac os it's a little different not exactly much difference uh, you, you have to do almost similar you have to download this and once you have downloaded unzip or extract that and once you have extracted that, make sure that you uh, you place that inside your user. And uh, um, once you have that in your users, go to bin. I'm sorry, once, hold on a second. User, local, and go to bin. So the path should be... Uh, user local and bin and place your phantom js uh, file over here the executable a uh, here so once you have placed it here open a new terminal and just type phantom js and you are you have entered into the phantom js uh, uh, session but to get the So to get the version, what exactly if it is working fine or not and what version it has uh, installed. So you just give this command phantom.js space tech v and should give you the version number. So that is how you install uh, the phantom.js. And I, I want to give you one last step. Uh, for some reason, if you do not believe in these uh, zip files, then what you can do is that uh, copy uh, let me show you one thing uh, new finder window and go to downloads here is where actually i have downloaded uh, the phantom js if you see this file i have downloaded it here okay so what i can do is go to the site online md5 go to online md5 and uh, just to ensure that the file that you have downloaded is correct or not okay so once you are there drag this whatever the file that you have downloaded um, yeah this is the file name drag it over here and it has uploaded and the next thing that you have to do is that corresponding to your uh, operating system um, right now i'm on mac so I'll copy this. This is the MD5 checksum. So copy that, paste it over here and click compare. So if you see that the comparison is successful, you will see a green tick mark here. So which means that uh, this file is uh, not corrupted and you are good to use. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this video. Please feel free to leave your comments, feedback. And if you have any questions in the comment section.